Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel and another great day to be out trailing in spring here in Alberta, Canada. Today we're taking out the uh, SCX JLU, uh, my recent purchase. So now I've got the Honcho and I've got the JLU, which you can see off to my shoulder there. Uh, probably your right and my left, if you can see it in there. I'm trying to get it in there. There we go. So yeah, we're out today. It's uh, April 12th or 13th, I think, or 14th. I can't remember. 14th, I think. And it's like 20 degrees Celsius here, so what, 70, 68, 70 Fahrenheit. And we're going to do some trailing today. It's, it's a great day to be out. And we did some upgrades to the JLU. We got the Super Swamper tires on there, uh, just like I did on the Honcho. And we've got uh, the aluminum, I put on aluminum uh, uh, shock towers and some aluminum skid plates and differential uh, skids. So we're going to go out, we're going to have a good time. And this one I might not talk a lot. I got a new, well not a new camera set up, but I'm going to try some lower shots uh, on this video with my uh, gimbal so and my GoPro. So I'm going to try that today, see if I can get some better footage. But uh, yeah, so I might not talk as much as I usually do in my videos, but uh, we're going to go out and have a good time just and enjoy the afternoon. So everybody watch and hopefully you make it to the end and let's go trailing.
This spot could be interesting. I don't think I can get up there. It's too soft. Too much of this crap. So let's go around. See if we can go this way. Gotta get up on that lip. Better line. This way. Oops, sorry, it was probably out of the shot. <clears throat> Just trying to find my right line here to get started up. I'm not sure if I got if I can get the right line here. We'll try. We'll keep trying. This is definitely a tough spot. We just keep digging in. So, back down a little bit. We'll come back this way. So I mean when I say these coolies change. Change, change, change because they're so soft. They're, they're, uh, they're not all rock. A lot of different material. Oh, I thought we had her. Just give me a sec. We just have to readjust. Hope you're enjoying the video, guys. I love these things. I am totally hooked on the SAX6s. Just love them. The 110s won't go away, but damn, these things are amazing. There we go. We got her. We'll try and come up here. I sure hope I can get her up here because if it starts to roll, it's going all the way down there because I'm above it. We got up here with the honcho. So we will see how the JLU does. It's pretty good here for grip, but the super swampers definitely help. Now well, we're looking pretty good. I think we'll make her. Thank God, because I'm way above it. Yeah, beautiful. We're going to climb up to the top of this one and, and go somewhere different. I think I'm going to check out a spot, see if I can get further. So we're going to just keep crawling here. I just went a little bit without it being on film, but I've been up here once before and I, and I didn't really see where this coulee to my left kind of goes. So I want to check it out, but I got to be a little more vigilant today. With spring here, uh, the rattlesnakes are coming out of their dens, and this is where they kind of hang because we're close to the river for the den here for the winter. So we'll see what it looks like when I get up there. But yeah, this thing's rocking it just like the honcho. I love these things. Like I said in my last uh, video with the honcho out trailing, if you guys are even thinking about getting one of these and not sure, uh, just give one a try. You won't be disappointed. So we went and uh, we went and checked that spot out. It's there's not much up there. It's a little grassy and stuff, and not a whole lot up on top of the coulee, but flat. So we're coming back down. We'll go around the corner again and get up on top of another one that I usually go to and try maybe try some different uh, uh, camera gear that I got. So we'll give that a try again. See if I can get some half decent footage. But we're coming back down. I'm in low right now, of course, because if we stay in high, sorry, I'm moving down the hill here a little bit. And if we stay in high gear, she'll just roll down there, free fall down the, uh, free run down the hill here. So far, I'm liking this thing. She hasn't uh, hasn't tackled uh, as much as the honcho yet, but 
freaking thing's a beast. I love them. As always, thanks for watching, guys. We're slowly working our way down. I'm trying to watch my step at the same time. We're going to go back down that chute here in a second. Trying to get as much footage as I can. Problem with, uh, everybody knows this, problem with being a YouTuber is you spend more time filming than you do enjoying the truck. And I want to enjoy the truck a little bit more this year, so I'm going to keep my videos a little shorter, I think, but we'll see. I enjoy doing it, but I enjoy driving too. So we're slowly coming down this chute here that we went up. Just going to realign ourselves a little bit. Put that front end around that corner. There we go. Beautiful. I'm adjusting. Sorry, guys. I know some of these clips are a little longer than I normally do. But hey, like I said, I'm trying to enjoy more than just filming. Yeah, I know where I'm coming down this shit. Really like this corner. Uh, it's a good, uh, good climb for the SCX6 and the 10s. But the 6 just destroys it over the 10s for sure. I'm going to readjust. I really like that green paint job on the JLU. I really wish I could find a paint match uh, for the honcho and do up a honcho just like that. It's just I like that better than the red. But uh, I did contact Axial, sent them an email asking them that. And of course they said it's not off the shelf and they're not going to give me that paint code. So we'll see, maybe I'll get another body and try and match them, paint them matched. But I really like that green. Suits the jail. Well, this could be interesting. Got myself kind of, well, I should be all right, but we'll see. Got myself in between that big rock here. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. I don't know what I'm thinking. This is an SCX6. I'm always thinking that it's a 10. Yeah, absolutely no problem there. Let's give it a little bit more. Let's take it over this way. Uh, we're going to have to back up a sec. That's a pretty big uh, drop behind that rock. So let's go around that. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, I do get some comments, but and I answer every single one of them. But uh, you know, like I said, I'm not on YouTube to make money. I'm just enjoying and sharing my my times out on the trail. I could probably move that rock if I wanted to. See, this is where that stock servo suffers, right in this spot here. So it, it's not. Yeah, see, we'll just move that rock. It's not as uh, strong as the. I don't find it as good with the uh, JLU as it is with the, um, yeah, let's give it a shot, as it is with the honcho. So we're definitely gonna have to look at upgrading. Well, this could be interesting. Trying to get the backs over that. Okay, so I was uh, proven wrong again by the SCX6. Yeah, so that servo's gotta go. And I'm not a big fan of the $300 servos, so I'll be looking on Amazon probably. All right, that was a good come down off that hill. I hope that was good footage. Uh, I'll know when I go to edit it.
All right, we're looking for a place to break here. I've been at it for a couple hours, so we're gonna try and get up there. See if there's a rock I can sit on up there. If not, we'll trail on till I can find a half decent rock to sit on. So let's do this. I see some good lines. I should be able to get up here. I think I came up here with the uh, poncho, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I'm gonna readjust. Okay, let's see what we can do. My shadow's in there, guys, I'm sorry. It's just where I gotta readjust myself. This rock could be an issue. But maybe not. We'll work around it. And right over top. Yeah, I, I think I came up here with the honcho. SCXX. Let's see. We need a place to break. I'm thirsty. It's a little soft here, so I gotta take her slow. But I, I'm going straight up this straight line here. There's some rock in there. But then we got this really soft stuff. So I'm taking her slow. Not to chunk that up, but I think we're going to be just fine. I'm going to stay right behind it here. Hopefully this is a good enough shot for you guys. I just need to look at my lines as I'm going here. So hopefully it's in the camera. Yeah, these things are just beasts. Like, look at that thing go. I just love these things. Oh, we got a little bit of a hole there. No, nope, I don't want to chunk that up anymore. So we're going to come back out of that hole. A little too fast. Kind of go around it. There we go. And there's that line. And I think we're at the top. Nice. All right, let's see what we got up there. Yeah, there was nowhere to sit up there. So we're coming back down a little bit further. Not the same spot, but we're coming back down. Let's see where I can find somewhere to have a break here. Ooh, slow down. I'm not in. That's what happens when you stay in, in uh, high gear. She comes down too quick. I just switched, there we go. So we gotta come around this big rock here. Oh, and there's the wind that we didn't have all day. I had no problem getting around that big rock. The sliders did their job. And again, it's, a, it's no shelf queen here, boys. And girls, sorry. We're coming back down. And we'll see. There's a spot where I went last year that... Uh, it was different trailing, so I haven't been there in a while. But I mean, I'm looking for somewhere just to have a rest, where preferably there's shade. I guess I should pay attention what's behind me. So I'm walking backwards here, giving you guys the truck coming down. But we're gonna trail on. Well, we're still on the hunt for somewhere to sit, but uh, I don't know. We're just gonna keep crawling until I find a spot and I think I need to change the battery out here pretty soon <clears throat> to the second one because uh, we've been at her for a while. Uh, the, the I do get it on the radio and it is telling me it's uh, the RX is at six volts. So not too bad, but we're getting down there. So we're just working our way down that to that trail there. I've been down here before, but uh, we'll go back up that way, I think. So bear with me. So far so good, we've had no issues. Just that servo seems a little weak for sure. 
and it's weird. It's it's different on the uh, poncho than it is on the JLU. So we'll have to look at that. I really picked a really picked a uh, steep spot here to come down, but that's what it's all about. Very birds. Whatever that clacking was, I have no idea. But again, watching for snakes, so they're coming out of their dens now and I'm really close to the river here, so gotta pay attention. You'll hear them, hopefully, before they strike, but I'm trying to back down the hill here too, guys. I'm almost at the bottom of it myself. Well, sort of. We're coming down. We're coming down. I like getting these longer clips because it does make for a lot easier editing. <laughs> but hey, I don't want to make the videos too long, but if I get extra clips, then I can have a couple. There we go, we're down. Nice. Okay, we're on the hunt for some of the rest. Hi, you guys. So, that's going to be the video for today. Um, great day, great day. I, I, I can't complain. And this is probably going to be a very rare occasion where I can sit here and talk to you without the wind blowing through the microphones on the camera. It's very calm today. Uh, that's That's not normal for us here. It's usually windy, windy, windy all the time. <clears throat> so it's kind of nice not to have too much of a wind today, but it does make it hot. Uh, new backpack that I got, uh, I showed some Instagram shots of that. Um, I'll probably turn, I'll turn the camera around here. We'll go over a little bit of the truck and stuff, but I just wanted to time in here because you know how it is. I, I need to charge the battery up on the DJI Pocket. I do have a portable uh, battery bank now that I put in my backpack to charge it. So. I don't keep running out of power, but uh, I've been out for three hours now, almost four, and I figure I better better do my end here uh, as I work my way back to the Jeep. Uh, th this uh, JLU SCX6 is is no different than the Honcho. Honchos, uh, I find a little bit better performance. Um, servo in the Honcho, uh, same servo that's in the Honcho, but it, it seems to work way better in the Honcho. I'm not sure if there's less weight to that truck. <clears throat> or this the I, I don't know what it is the chassis is the same this one it does struggle same tires it's got the super swamper tires with the proline two-stage foams in them uh, I also put the uh, I put the aluminum a bit of weight to it aluminum well it's aluminum so not that much weight but I did put the shock towers on the honcho also and on the JLU here and some skid plates and diff plate uh, skids um, from DJX I think I got them on Amazon they're awesome I'll show you them here in a second but yeah so really happy with this one again I just love these trucks so again if you're thinking about getting them guys don't think about it just get one get one that you think you're gonna like the honcho I recommend them both um, I got drawn into them and of course had to get the JLU after I took the honcho out so here I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll just do a quick uh, look at the skid plates on the rig and we'll look at the backpack. Um, I don't think I posted anything on YouTube of the new backpack that I got this year. Uh, the sling pack just wasn't cutting it anymore. She was starting to fall apart. And I needed a little bit more extra space and a better uh, sling for my back. The sling pack was good for a while, but um, it's been bothering my back. So I got a normal backpack and I really like it. So we'll, uh, let me turn the camera around here. Nope. One, two, three. There we go. So we got the truck here. So we'll just flip her up here. So that is the skid plate from DJX. Yeah, DJX off Amazon. I think they were like 28 bucks uh, Canadian. So you get that and you get the uh, differential skids, which are awesome. Uh, I beat up the diffs covers on the uh, honcho before I put them on uh, so I bought a set of these when I bought this also so they're on the front and rear and we've got the aluminum shock mounts in there or shock towers in there front and rear and they also have the aluminum supports that go in between the two of them 
um, running those 9,000 mAh um, uh, Z batteries. So far I'm on the first battery. I, I think I'm getting a little low, but I've got both in there so I can change it out. And I also got these. So on the Honcho, I've got the Proline um, method uh, wheel faces. I bought these. These are aluminum wheel faces also. I got these off Amazon for about 60 bucks Canadian a set. And they're pretty cool. You can get them in silver or black. Um, I put them on yesterday. I got everything installed on, on the JLU to get it out. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. Hopefully that glare off the sun ain't getting you. But they're pretty good. Um, they fit great. There was no issues for fit and finish. Getting in with the, the plastic um, center ring and the back piece of the stock tires. Just like the Pro Lines do. So yeah, I couldn't get the bronzed ones in Pro Line anymore. They only have the silver and I didn't want the silver on the JLU. So I found these black ones and I thought I'd give them a try. But yeah, so that's the the SEX6. Not a whole lot new on that, just we're loving it. The Stervo's got to go, so that's the new. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get the camera, so that's the new backpack. Um, put a bunch of moles on the side, decided to go with the orange so people could see me out here. This is a lot of mountain biking out here, too. So I want to be able to people to be able to see me when they're coming around on the biking trails if I'm on the trail. So, yeah, it's much better. It's an orca, I got it off Amazon, of course, good old Amazon. Um, two pouches um, I did my own uh, uh, zipper uh, poles because the ones that are on it are just paracord and they're they just come apart and I lose them all the time so I made up some of my own out of paracord and put the orange in there to match it so yeah I'm pretty happy with it got a molly back here uh, holds all my camera gear and I've got an extra spot another pack back here I've got nothing in there right now and then on the back side you can unzip it here uh, right in here and you can put in a camel pack but I, I just got a bottle of uh, Gatorade in there so yeah pretty happy with it um, that's about it for that so yeah we'll get the camera turned around here again one two three there we go so yeah so anyways guys just a little bit longer of an end but uh, I uh, had a great time today as usual I'm so happy summer's coming in it's spring right now and summer's here basically we're supposed to get some shitty weather next week, some rain and some potentially more snow, but not a whole lot. Um, so I, I'm happy that we're into spring now. I can get out more often. But yeah, so uh, thanks for everyone that subscribed. Thanks for coming and watching the video. Hopefully you guys made it to the end to, to get the end, end chunk here of going over a bit of stuff. I know I do this every video, but this one's a little longer. But anyways, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe, share it out. Give it a thumbs up, like it, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Everybody get out there and do some trailing and enjoy summer because it's upon us. Cheers, guys.